Hey guys, uh, it's Miko from ML Sound Lab. Um, as you can probably tell, this is kind of a different kind of video. Um, I've really been struggling quite a bit recently, especially with the comments down in the comment section. Um, really, mainly, I'm quite deeply hurt by some of the comments that you guys have been writing down in the comments. Mainly, mainly about me, me being a, bo a boomer boomer guitar player i mean yes i'm way over 30 and i play guitar designs made over 60 years ago but does that really make me a boomer guitar player okay i have to apologize for that intro that was terrible i mean that's the best acting i can do believe it or not i never took any lessons i'm sure you were thinking like man this guy had some lessons nope self-taught believe it or not <laughs> all jokes aside today i wanted to talk about why i play these vintage style guitars now i've been collecting guitars for all my life like 25 years because i was born 25 years ago believe it or not no that's not true but <laughs> you know i've been collecting guitars and throughout the years i've definitely had hundreds of guitars like there's no way around it i have problems I've had hundreds of guitars, probably around 200, and um, the guitars that have always stayed are very traditional. So Paul Reed Smiths and Music Man guitars are the more modern guitars that I have usually. I have some custom builds too, but for the most part, Fenders and Gibsons. Um, now, you could call those boomer guitars, but if you really think about it, those are the guitars that have stood the test of time. So if you think about guitars as an investment, it's gonna be much more safer for you to purchase like a 2000 euro telly because it's likely gonna be worth that 2000 10 years later than it is to get the most modern awesome thing right now currently that is new just now. Just imagine all the amazing uh, uh, super strats from the 80s and how much their value is right now. In certain circles, I'm sure it's astronomical. They are valued so much, but how many people do actually want those guitars? So as an investment, getting a Gibson or a Fender, it's likely gonna be worth around the same money that you spend on it now in 10 years. And that's something that really uh, makes me feel like I'm not that kind of worried about buying an expensive Fender or an expensive Gibson, whereas getting even like a Music Man guitar that is super expensive right now. I'm not sure if Music Man will be around in 20 years or so. They likely will be, but um, it's not as safe of an investment as some of these are. Now that is strictly talking about guitars as an investment. Uh, I'm sure not many of you are thinking about it in that way. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, I mean, for us people that are sort of collectors, that obviously plays a huge part. So I know if I wanted to sell my all of my guitars, I know the Fenders and Gibsons would go fast. All the other stuff, even Music Man guitars, they take time. And that is something that I've noticed throughout the year. So I found that it's much safer for me to actually purchase Fenders and Gibsons. And that is why I have so many of them. Now, on top of that, I actually also enjoy playing them. They're not the easiest guitars to play always. They have a certain sound to them that is classic. And that is about paying homage to the history of the electric guitar. I mean, the people that influenced me to actually play guitar, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Slash, that's probably most of it for me personally, Eric Clapton. They all played Fenders and Gibsons uh, because that's likely all they had back in the day. But still, I feel like I'm when I'm playing these guitars, I'm sort of feeling their spirits. And that is, that is what I'm, sadly, I have to admit, that is a big part of the reason why I play these guitars. When I pick up a Strat, I'm feeling like, yeah, I'm going to pull off my Clapton-y bits or I'm going to do like a Hendrixy thing, and I enjoy that. Uh, if I want to go to more extreme metal genres, many times I will actually pick up a guitar that is a Music Man or a PRS, and even my custom builds are amazing for that. So 
that is that is a stylistical thing. If you're only playing super high gainy stuff, I'm completely understand you have no interest in these guitars. Although this telly, by the way, chants better than any of your extended range super humbuckery guitars. It's it's a gem. In a previous video, I said I don't feel like the guitar itself has evolved that much. This 25 and a half inch scale. Telecaster is the same scale length as most modern electric guitars. They just have humbuckers in it. And I have PRS guitars and Music Man guitars that are already considered boomery. <laughs> and, and they have the same specs. So I don't feel like guitars have changed that much in their evolution. So what kind of guitar you're using has actually more to do with what kind of look you want to go for. It's an aesthetical thing and obviously playability is a big part of it, but I feel very comfortable with these guitars. So that is why I'm playing many of these classic guitar designs more than the modern designs. I suppose a PRS is already called a classic guitar design. Um, I don't feel like these newer modern guitars are cool. <laughs> I, don't feel, I don't feel like they are cool. They're like the Subaru of a sports car. <laughs> None of them are like, that's the Ferrari or Lamborghini of a guitar. That's just how I feel personally. And while I can choose something like a classic Porsche or a classic uh, Mercedes or a classic Cadillac or Mustang or something that in my opinion is just way cooler than some of these super modern guitars. I don't feel like these modern guitars are doing anything in too particular that the older guitars were not able to do. Leave your comments down below of why you play the guitar you play. Is it about getting perfect playability and comfort and for that reason you don't care what the shape is or are you thinking more like uh, you want your guitar to look a certain way? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. I've been Miko from ML Sound Lab and see you on the next one. Bye bye. I really don't want to make these these kind of negative dramatic videos too much but well yeah i just wanted to cover something that's been going on in the comments um essentially i'm quite deeply hurt by some of the things that people have been saying about me mainly that i'm a bo boomer boomer guitarist <laughs> because i play guitar designs made by companies like 60 years ago does that really make me a boomer guitar player i don't know let's talk about it <laughs>